Hello, everybody. I'm going to be starting about a minute early. Uh, it's, it's all a matter of timing, like so many other things. Uh, yes, casinos have a financial plan uh, uh, that involves building trust, uh, reputation, and a relationship with their patrons, while at the same time managing their investors, because it's a business, to, the, to give them uh, uh, a big payday by selling their efforts for a great sale price. Uh, and yes, half the casinos in the U.S. are owned by tribes, so selling their casino isn't as much of a factor, although many tribal casinos have investors that need to be satisfied too. So let's clarify what we mean here. Sometimes when people hear about influence, in terms of social media, they think of something that's super popular or that went really big or viral, or they think that influences uh, just someone who has a large social media following, a large social media presence. So, um, and, and uh, look at all those donations. Uh, I'll, I'll acknowledge them in just a minute. I, I don't, but I don't think of uh, influence that way. I think having influence in being an influence, having influence and being an influencer are two different things. When we talk about story, this is uh, kind of the direction we're going here today. Uh, it's what underpins uh, marketing uh, and manipulation by the casino. Uh, <laughs> uh, when we uh, talk about story, we're talking about having influence literally over the audience, over patrons that end up visiting the casino. So uh, if you have a question, uh, please ask the question. But this manipulation that we're seeing uh, is um, uh, the manipulation that we're seeing here is, uh, uh, you know, the casino influencing their patrons uh, that end up visiting a casino. So they can do that from outside of the casino with bulk mail flyers or nowadays email offers. Uh, and all that is a big part of the great casino marketing that they do. Uh, and not only that, but slot machine, when you're in the casino, slot machine demo mode. Have you seen that? It was uh, in my pre-show. You can see it several times when I was walking up to a slot machine and it's like showing bonus rounds. And, you know, sometimes it'll say demo mode, but nobody's playing it. And that sort of thing is is really important to the casino to get you uh, into it as uh, you know into the mode into the, the way they want you to start thinking so um, let's uh, uh, so it it's not influence is not just like having some sort of social media following uh, uh, with a you know account num account numbers or or something like that uh, what we it me what does it mean to have influence and be able to influence other people Okay, I see this topic everywhere. We're talking about casinos and they're influencing you, but uh, I see I, I, I'm learning this topic and I'm like everywhere I look. So maybe this will resonate with you for that. Um, so what does it mean to have influence and being able to influence people? Uh, it means a few things. Number one, it means the ability to persuade someone's mind. Uh, it it uh, it means to be able to motivate their will. It means to be able to guide someone's actions. That's an influencer. That's your casino. Uh, we we go to the casino and we say it's the casino, but really it is the slot machine manufacturers who make these games, which are uh, you know where the influence is coming from. But they do that on behalf of. Uh, the casino. So I'll just say casinos, but it's a gaming industry. Um, influence is uh, this cross section. So uh, that between um, the persuasion, the motivation, and the guiding, uh, influence is at this cross section of, let me point it out to you here. Yes, right there in the middle, uh, like a Venn diagram. Uh, and um, <laughs> Venn diagrams. Uh, 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 so, um, that's what influence is. It's that cross section in the middle of all three of those things where casino marketing can influence what you're thinking, what you're feeling and the action we take as a result of that. That's what influence is. And that's what 
Story gives casinos the ability to do. Again, Story is uh, casino marketing and and all those different aspects that were that I mentioned. So now, when we talk about Story, there is a few different ingredients that go into um, uh, uh, a good story that we want to talk about. And Story can do a lot of things that normal types of communication can't do. And this comes down to influence as well. Um, uh, and so the three ingredients, um, there's three of these things we can go through. Uh, I, I will, uh, I have gone through some of these elsewhere. Uh, I will uh, talk about where, uh, this is a, a, a big part of, um, one side of slots labs is being, you know, you want to be able to learn how to win, right? But you also need to get it out of the casino <laughs> because the casinos don't mind if you win, if you give it all back. Right. So uh, the first thing that story does, uh, and these are scientifically proven now, uh, I'm not just making this stuff up. There's a lot of stuff be behind it you can look up, but it, it, it helps the audience. It helps them to have an experience that they couldn't otherwise have. It gives them the ability to adopt new behavior, to change their viewpoint. And when someone uh, can't be there, and I will uh, share that. Uh, it's it, it it gets it gets them to adopt new behavior to change their viewpoint and when someone can't be there in the experience itself if the casino tells a story well and by casino here it, it's uh, other uh, slots channels you know they're they're making use of this as well by just showing their play and removing the long losing parts and and so you know you can literally well, not literally, you can transport yourselves, uh, ourselves, themselves into it. In our mind, chemically, in our brain and everything, They, we experience winning the same way as if we had won. And though they have experienced it themselves, uh, as though they had experienced it themselves when the story is told well. And that's what the better, uh, I'll say better, uh, slots channels do, uh, give you that experience. So it's not, it's not giving them just an experience, but giving them this vicarious experience where they are able to put themselves in that situation and experience the story unfolding almost similarly with the same reactions and emotions that the character themselves is experiencing in the story. So that's what casino marketing is all about. That's what other slots channels, when they when they show their their gameplay and and you know you're screaming at them saying what don't do that oh you know because you you learn better here so number one in, is is that the secret ingredient is that story can give people this vicarious experience and place themselves in that situation the second thing that uh that it uh, that it does uh and let me set this up with a a, a little story itself uh this is this next step uh quote truth naked and cold uh, had been turned away from every door in the village. Her nakedness frightened people, but then Parable found her huddled in a corner, shivering and hung hungry. Taking pity on her, Parable gathered her up and took her home. She dressed Truth in story, warmed her, and sent her back out again. Clothed in story, Truth now knocked again at the vid 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 villagers' doors, and was readily welcomed into welcomed into people's homes. They invited her to eat at their table and warm them herself by their fire. So truth starts out naked and cold, and no one really wants truth. Truth wants to get in, and people are like, I don't know. But then you wrap it in a good story, and now people embrace truth. So end quote. And that is what this, that's what we're talking about today. That's what the second, second principle is, the Trojan horse effect. Because people are, uh, and let me change that. Oh, yes. Uh, and, and people are, uh, you know, are naturally resistance resistant to change. They fear the unknown and new things. And we tend to be on high alert in, uh, into taking it in, in taking in direct messages about things, or our subconscious is very defensive. It's kind of like when a family member just starts to, you know, give you unsolicited advice, or your buddy starts trying to get you to take advantage of this new opportunity, which is actually just some sort of 
pyramid scheme. But they're telling you like this, you know, they're telling you like, this is great. You, you start to go defensive in those situations, but a well-told story lowers defenses and we become more passive and engaging in just accepting how, what, what is being told to us through this story. It's a funny thing because stories happened uh, happen to our emotions, as one person, as one expert put it, the quote, the emotion, the emotionally invest, the more emotionally invest, ah, sorry, quote, the more emotionally invested you are into something, the less critical and less objective and less observant you become, end quote. And that's uh, David Phillips from his um, The Magical Science of Storytelling. Casino marketing is a manipulation designed to lower our defenses. And for people who are normally resistant to change and, you know, spending money, are on high, and, you know, they're on high alert on anything that poses a threat. But with a well-told story, this lowers their defenses and now be, you know, makes us a, a little bit more pot, passive and engaging. And so a good story like Casino marketing also has this Trojan horse effect. Now, there's a the third element here, which is brain chemistry, uh, and uh, uh, you know that's as much of a science as a well-told story. It releases different chemicals in the brain. The well-told story releases different chemicals in the brain, and there's reactions that that tap into, like storytelling, uh, literally taps into how we are wired as humans, as people. I went over this brain chemistry science in a past live stream, so I'll put the the, the link over, uh, over, how do I point? Over here, <laughs> up above. Uh, um, uh, and if I share, um, let's see here, um, screen. I will share this screen. Yes. Uh, and so, if, and I'll make myself small here. Uh, if um, you go to my YouTube channel, uh, and this is how it's laid out, uh, this is home, and you can see uh, some of the things I've set up here for you to find, including my strategies. But if you go to uh, move down from those videos, uh, which are... Uh, uploaded videos and then there's shorts and then there's lives and they're all videos and and podcasts as well and and that's also a video it doesn't have a changing screen uh it it just has my voice and so uh if you go to live then you will see 197 uh live uh lives uh so yeah total i have 954 videos not including this one and if you go back just a little bit uh to about three months ago i talked about brain chemistry why leaving a casino with your winnings is hard and what you can do about it uh, so that is a topic of my uh, slots labs course and um let me see if there's other things i wanted to share here uh let's see right um and then there was this yeah uh there that okay yep uh and that's what i wanted to to share with you um so uh and this is the brain chemistry uh that was gone over in that uh live stream uh three months ago which is what the third element of uh story uh, so make sure you ask your questions, uh, and uh, it's great to see everybody here, the moderators. I want to um, uh, make sure that I acknowledge the donations that have come in. Um, let's see, we have, uh, there we are, uh, Magpie uh, has given a $20 donation. Uh, this is a super chat that's available at the bottom of the live chat in uh, YouTube. Uh, and she says, winners take every opportunity to learn about themselves and the game. Yeah. Uh, and uh, thank you for your words of wisdom, Magpie. Uh, Magpie has been uh, following me for a very long time, before I even had a, a, a YouTube channel. Uh, and she's great. Uh, and Chuck uh, is uh, in St. Louis, uh, and he says, morning all, uh, bright and sunny in St. Louis. Uh, and he has uh, 
uh, given a rotation, donation of $21.99. <laughs> so thank you. And uh, uh, Susan is here. Susan, you're on vacation. What the heck? <laughs> Well, uh, traveling through Alabama, I, I hope your reception continues to be good. Um, Mary, Ell Mary Ellen says hi. Uh, and uh, uh, so uh, let's see, Doug is here from Missouri. Uh, welcome, Doug. Uh, uh, and oh, it's raining in Texas. Well, it's just terribly bright out. We had our first warm day here in Reno uh, in a month maybe you know it was kind of unusual a month ago so now it like didn't even get it got down to like 52 last night not freezing <laughs> we were all just like wow uh and um everybody's saying hello to each other uh hi cheryl uh and steve steve is in uh green bay wisconsin uh hello 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 uh and there is a question from xllx frenzy i'll just call you frenzy uh question does uh, uh desert diamond announced in uh, arizona uh, Arizona. They will be opening a new casino. Uh, uh, when opened, uh, do you think the odds would be best to play? Um, I, I've seen it go. I've seen it go both ways. Now, many people will, will, you know, falsely tell you that, oh no, it doesn't matter. You know, it's always going to be um, the same odds, and uh, because you know, there's no control. <laughs> I'm like what? Uh, uh, and you know that's not what the um, uh, research says. So if you go to Arizona, um, let's go there. Um, if you go to my web page, I'll make myself small and we'll switch over to that. Uh, yes. So go to professorslots.com. Can you see it at the top there? Maybe not. I'm going to say professorslots.com/az. And I have articles, uh, 56 articles, every state, uh, U.S. territory, and our federal district. And um, let's see what I have to say here. Uh, so these are uh, every article has similar sections. The relevant uh, there's usually a video, usually a podcast, um, starting right about where it needs to be uh, in it. Um, uh, and I have to update those occasionally. They're not very popular, but. Uh, uh, that's fine. Um, I've been doing this for longer than I've had a YouTube channel, just keeping people informed of some of the changes. But let's take a look and see if I have a note about that. Um, there is, right, so that's the map. And you said Desert Diamond. Um, so Desert Diamond already has uh, these three, uh, four, uh, that have been around for a while. Uh, so I'm going to, I, I'm hesitant to do this, but I'm going to click on it because I, YouTube doesn't like me when I, I share other people's advertisements. Uh, but uh, Tucson, Tucson, do you know which city it's in? Is it Tucson? Um, let's see, we've got Desert Diamond. No, I only see the four. Uh, and I think that they're all open. Um, you can go to each one. Uh, and West Valley, um, yeah. So I don't, I don't see, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see them uh, 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 showing a, a one that they're opening. So if you have uh, more of a, um, uh, if you have, let me get this right. Nope, uh, not that one. This one, right? Uh, if you know the name of the city, I would be interested in, in knowing about it. If you have any information, you can send it to me at john at professorslots.com. Uh, but to answer your question, uh, is it good or is it bad? You can look at some of my return to player uh, graphs. And uh, uh, some of them I've gone all the way back 20 years, 10 years, whichever. And you can look at, is it good? Is it is it um, going to start high or is it going to start low? So let me see if I can get you. Uh, I think I have the one that I'm thinking of is Delaware. The one. Uh, 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 let's see. Slots return to player. Uh, and 
guess at my URL for that. Um, dun, 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 dun. Let me not share it just yet. There we are. Delaware. Turn to player. Yeah. Okay. So if I make myself small and put that up there, uh, great. Um, so Delaware has, uh, oops, that's all my return to player articles. And if you go to Delaware, there is a graph. And I have a YouTube video on this. Um, and uh, so what I want to show you here is this video, uh, this uh, image. So it's a little blurry, but um, hopefully you can see it. Maybe if I got rid of your, uh, made it a little bit clearer. Okay. So going back uh, 28 years, uh, I think that uh, Delaware Park opened first, then Bally's Dover. Not that it was called that at first. That's what it's called now. Second, and then third was Harrington. And you can see the business decision that was made. So uh, Harris, uh, uh, Harrington opened about six months later than the first two, Delaware Park and, and uh, uh, Bali Stover. They opened within a month or, of each other, if not the, within a few days of each other. So they decided start low, go high uh, over time. Uh, and uh, Molly's Dover decided to go pretty aggressively low returns, then go high. And that took about um, six years to get up to about where they are these days, uh, but they slowly climbed. Now, what happened with uh, Harrington? They decided that because they were late to the party six months, they started to start. They decided to start high, and then they went low for like six years, and then this year they 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 jumped higher, but then they just gradually slowed, and then they jumped higher, and they've been pretty constant ever since. I mean, people say casinos, you know, are random, and that. That's a choice. That's a business choice. Uh, but you, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. That was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> um, uh, so let's see. Come back to this, and uh, so that is my answer for for you, uh, uh, frenzy. Um, uh, uh, and uh, thank you for the donation. I'll, I'll look for that in the Cash App, uh, um, which is dollar sign Professor Slots, if anybody else is interested in going that route. Uh, ah, Phoenix. Okay, I will make a note of that and, and, and keep an eye on it. Usually uh, there's, you know, lots of announcements beforehand. Uh, desert... Um, Diamond Phoenix, much appreciated. I like to keep these things um, uh, updated. There is a lot that happens. Um, there's a lot that happens. Uh, 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 there's a lot that happens um, in the gaming industry. It's a dy dynamic time, uh, and uh, you know, just keeping up. Um, and Magpie says, I love the casino commercials. They play fun, chips, drinks, good looking people, smile, selling you the dream. <laughs> I know, right? Well, uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh, the, I've been looking into marketing and, you know, how do you elicit emotion? Uh, and I've been learning about that. And, and, uh, if you can be like, open mouthed you know it's it's kind of like i look at that and i'm like are they screaming <laughs> you know <laughs> uh what what is going on uh and uh you know there's it's it's just you know who who looks like that but then that that takes a little while 
to do that. Um, uh, Sandman Slots is here, uh, says, good morning, help, uh, happy pre-Mother's Day. Absolutely. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. Everybody, please have um, a wonderful time on uh, Mother's Day. Remember to go early the next morning to see if your casino has uh, the morning after uh, these, these holidays. Uh, that was my, um, uh, and sharing again here, my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, what it looks like in general. That was what we discussed last time. Know your casino well. Does it celebrate Mother's Day? In case, if it does, you know, you've got several options. And I talked about that last time. Uh, okay. So let's see here. Back to this. Um, I've got lots of slides today. So I'm flipping back and forth between them. Uh, Ran, I haven't heard from you in a rant a little, little while, Ran. So um, uh how do you make a list of top 10 or top five best states to gamble in? Um, it's easier to make a list of the bottom five. Uh, of course, uh, Hawaii, uh, Hawaii and Utah, uh, they completely prohibit gambling. Uh, and Utah for religious reasons and Hawaii because the, the, the state did an analysis of how much taxes they would get from a resort um, versus a casino. And <laughs> it was, it was like a hundred times more for the, for the, for the, um, uh, the resort uh, than it was for the casino because of all the, you know, how little land there is. And so they were like, oh, casinos are banned for economic reasons. <laughs> Um, so it's very important to the state to have that. Uh, so uh, then the the next lowest um, would be, you know, go through my articles. You can go to um, professorslots.com slash two-letter postal designation for your state. Um, I have some truck drivers that uh, just love my articles because, you know, they're, they're everywhere in the country. Uh, and... Um, so if you go to professorslots.com, uh, uh, your state, uh, you can, uh, at the very top, let me do that instead. Let's say we'll go back to Arizona. At the beginning of the article, I say, this is your online research. I've dedicated this series uh, to, uh, um, uh, by, as, as a state-by-state -state online resource for U.S casino slots enthusiasts. I'm sorry, uh, outside of the U.S., uh, I'm focusing on the U.S. Uh, until I uh, can grow enough. And so if you click on that link, you would be taken to uh, my resource, which is, these are each one of my articles. So go, go take a look at it. But if you are in Arizona or any of these articles, you go down to theoretical payouts and return statistics, and you see what the law is, see what the gaming regulations are. And what you wanna watch out for is, is there a maximum theoretical limit? Uh, and for Arizona, it doesn't have one. But if you go to Pennsylvania, 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 where are you? P, 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 uh, there you are. If you go to Pennsylvania, uh, it's very worrisome. So you go move down, there's satellite casinos coming in um, that have been approved a while ago, but they delayed construction. Uh, so uh, there is a theoretical payout minimum limit uh, of 85%, which is about normal. Uh, but then there's this maximum, maximum theoretical payout limit may not equal or exceed 100%. This limit applies for each wager. And that's that's to be avoided. I mean, you can walk in, make a bet, win, get out, but if you do that day after day after day, you, the, the house edge is a house edge. There's no player edge. There's no, the casino in the casinos in Pennsylvania have no option, but to limit how much you can win to breaking even. You can find machines on which you can break even. And in the short term, you might win something. And maybe I'll make that a little bigger so you can read the words. Uh, 
but if you if you continue to play, then it'll be like playing craps or roulette. In the long run, you lose. At best, you break even. Uh, because the gaming regulations say that. So, you know, there's 56 of them. I won't go through uh, 56 articles to check each state. But if you go to professorslots.com uh, slash your two-letter postal designation, then you will go to that, move on down to uh, the theoretical payouts and return statistics uh, for your state and see what it says. Yeah. yeah, and And otherwise, there are a few other things that make it hard to win uh, at um, some casinos, uh, some states. Uh, and but the payout limit, you know, sometimes it says over the lifetime of the machine, and then you just have to understand that, like uh, uh, Virginia, which recently got casinos, the temporary structures still at this point, three of them, and a tribal casino that might be coming in Norfolk, uh, those uh, they have a limit um, over the lifetime of the game, which is like, well, none of the machines are very old because they just opened. But in a couple of years, machines that were poor, that didn't pay well for years, the casino could make them pay well. I mean, they, they legally they they would be allowed to, and then they the game is back on. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, I will uh, um, take a look at that. So um, I, I I don't have a top five. I have a um, uh, a lower five, <laughs> uh, Iowa, Pennsylvania, Hawaii, Utah, Georgia. Um, uh, and that's the sort of thing you want to, um, you know, it's pretty clear about those. Um, <laughs> uh, riverboat casinos, uh, in Missouri, uh, but not so much the ones in Indiana. Um, uh, yes, uh, Chuck, Chuck, as Chuck knows well. Uh, and I will make a note of, uh, your, uh, remarks, um, Adino, uh, for that, um, uh, Desert Diamond. I appreciate that. I will, um, I, I collect these things and provide updates on all the articles as I learn, uh, things opening. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I, I will look into it, Dino. Uh, the, uh, uh, there's sometimes a temporary opening of a couple of, uh, mobile home trailers, <laughs> you know, uh, put together. Kings Mountain is like that while they work on the resort and the casinos in Virginia are like that. It's interesting to, you know, when you're like me and you watch the country, uh, it's interesting all the things that are going on and how approaches are taken. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, it's, you know, and I inform you guys of it, uh, if not on, on, on videos on YouTube, but also in podcasts, but also in my, my website articles. Um, because, you know, if I were to talk to you as an individual, you are interested in Arizona and not, you know, so if I put up a video of, of Arizona, then one out of 150 second, one fifth, one divided by 56 what is that percentage wise? Um, one divided by 56, I could estimate it, but a lot going on. So almost 2% of you, if I put up one article uh, on a state, almost 2% of you, 1.8% of you would be interested because that's your state. So I don't get a lot of views on, on those, but the people that uh, do watch it um, are informed. Uh, and helpful, uh, uh, and helped, uh, which is my whole point. Uh, uh, Serenity, something strange in High Limit Room the other day. Whenever this woman uh, gets into a bonus round, she'd leave the machine and do a walk around. Drove me crazy. I could hear her triggers, and she didn't care. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, I uh, I do something similar. I, I don't walk away from the machine and like, well, I guess I'll be back in 20 minutes when it's done. Uh, uh, the casino must love that because if she goes to another machine and she spends money, then they love that she's spending money because if she sits and watches the bonus round, she's now no longer spending money. And this is the reason why casinos are like, well, the machine is basically shut off it's play, running a bonus round. We're, we're no longer making money off of it. Uh, you know, uh, why would we also give her something to win after 20 minutes? We've already costing us enough. Isn't that interesting? Uh, and uh, so, okay, so she didn't care. What I like to do, um, and this is the brain chemistry thing uh, on the other uh, uh, live stream of, from three, three Three weeks ago, three months ago, three months ago, um, which is, wow, years moving forward, uh, which is I like to limit the input that I'm getting from the casino environment. So I wear hearing, hearing protection. But it's, there's also a lot of flashing lights and other things coming into my eyes. And I've considered uh, sunglasses, but what I uh, like is if the game is playing, even if it isn't a bonus round, I will look at, and, and Chuck knows this, I've done it in front of him, I will look at the win window and see if anything comes up as, as a win. To just not be affected by, oh, so close, when it was never close. It, 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 it's part of what you're being paid is entertainment and uh, making it seem as though, oh, that was so close to the top jackpot. What? Uh, close only counts on horseshoes, and this is not horseshoes. Uh, and um, so, uh, yeah, I can understand how she would be like, either I, you know, she needs to go play more while she's waiting. Uh, and yeah, yeah. Isn't that, isn't that interesting? Yeah. Uh, and you also say my new high limit friend also shared she has already down $6,000 uh, for the day. And it was, only 11 15 a.m oh maybe she started at four o'clock in the morning and it's been six hours i don't know yeah i feel bad for for chuck um uh ran uh in missouri it's uh there's little going on as in terms of um how to win uh, and but there are some things uh, uh, Chuck has taken slots labs and he knows that there are some things that can be done. And some and one of those things that you can do is save money and, and travel to a different state, which is just the gaming regs. You know, you're not unlucky. It's the gaming regs are hurting you. And and so if you travel to another state, you have to learn how the you know, I've tried to explain this in, in shorts. If you are playing a table game, and a lot of people who are doing YouTube channels are like, well, it's just like table games. And I'm like, no, 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 no. If you play roulette, craps, a particular game of poker, because different games of poker are different, they have different game rules. But if you play the same version of poker anywhere on earth, uh, and uh, el <laughs> actually elsewhere, uh, the odds are the same. If it's the same game, if it's the same game theme, if it has a, excuse me, if it's the same game rules, then the odds are the same. They don't change. Uh, but with slot machines, if you move, if you take the same machine, dancing drums, you go to the next state and there's a gaming regulation in Pennsylvania that says you will not win. Sorry, you know, the casino's like, oh, we would want to have like one in a hundred win big because those other 99 people would just like love that and spend their money. And the casino's like is is legally prohibited from doing that by the gaming regulations. But if you cross over into Maryland, they're not. Uh, and then you have within the state, uh, like uh, the state of New York has like five different five different things you can do. They have a Manhattan terminal where they have cruise ships. You have um, 
uh, uh, you know, across the border into Canada. Then they've got uh, tribal casinos, uh, those with class three games because they have a gaming compact, class two games because they don't have a gaming compact. And then you have like commercial casinos. And I think there's like race racinos, uh, which have different rules than those that are the casino resorts. And it's just like complicated, complicated, complicated. So it's like new, the state of New York is like five different variations in one. But most uh, states have like one or two sets of rules. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cheryl says, is taking a bus to a casino good or bad? Um, if, the, if the bus is arranged by the casino, then they know about the bus. <laughs> and why wouldn't they include that in their plans? Uh, many people have said the bus shows up and uh, people win. And that gets everybody excited that get, got off the bus and then people lose. And it's not like people, you know, fewer people are betting. It's, you know, there's no reason because of the number of people in the casino. It's just the odds have been turned off. So, uh, yes, but be very careful. Best bus or not, if you come into a casino, nobody's winning. Why would you expect to win? I mean, this is the basics of how to play slots, uh, but not, not that anybody else talks about these things, just me. <laughs> uh, and, um, I, I, you know, I, I, there are other people who just, you know, an education helps. Uh, having had a statistics course at some point, um, you know, your high school diploma or GED, uh, required for a slot tech, you know, isn't doing you good service. Uh, but here, let me help you. Uh, and um, if you want to buy my course, watch my free content, go home with winnings, and invest in your slots journey with my course. Um, not asking you to pull it out of your 401k, not that it would be that much, uh, but uh, if you want to make a living, if you want to make, uh, um, uh, if you want to make a living at slots, you need to know whether or not your state would even allow such a thing, um, because they limit if they limit their casinos to not allowing you to win, them to win, to, them to let you win. It's it's a very simple rule, uh, yeah. No, I think Iowa actually doesn't have, I think that's over the life. They have a maximum. Uh, how many, let's see, there is a, a 16 states have only a minimum theoretical limit, but uh, uh, 30, uh, another, um, let's see, 14 states have, uh, 30 states have a minimum and maximum. Yeah. So those uh, uh, states with a maximum are Delaware, Illinois, Iowa, but only for the tribal casinos, Louisiana, Maryland, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi. Uh, Mississippi is one of those ones where it's per wager. And it's like ah, Pennsylvania, Missouri, Mississippi. No wonder we can't win in Biloxi. Uh, North Carolina, uh, North Dakota, Pennsylvania, Virginia, West Virginia, Wisconsin, and Oregon. And those... Uh, you need to check those maximum theoretical limits, which are usually around 100% uh, or up to, or uh, you need to see if that's per wager. Check the gaming rigs to see if they're flexible enough to allow casinos to have the marketing, which would in, you know allow people to to win. Uh, and 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 man, they they're chafing at, they're chafing at the bit right because this is such a powerful marketing tool for casinos. They don't like that they can't let a few of you win. Uh, that hurts them uh, in their marketing efforts. Uh, this is business. This is how th things work. Sorry to pull the cover back, <laughs> you know, and 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 uh, you know tell you what's going on. Uh, yeah. All along, uh, it's, it's not hard. Anyway, uh, Magpie says, question. When you identify a highly visible bank of linked machines with a high major, 
do you play at one machine or do you use the five spin method on each machine of the carousel moving seats? Okay. So uh, as you know, Margaret, um, Magpie, uh, uh, you've been through Slots Labs and in the 30 days to play Slots Smarter and Win, I only talk about one strategy, number six, which is combining strategies. And we, because I wanted to introduce the idea, but uh, it's a fundamentals, fundamental slots course. But the advanced course, Slots Labs, talks about every possible combination. And so uh, you're trying to do two different things at once and going after progressives uh, and going after which machine is a winner. So for everybody else, uh, what she's talking about is one of those machines could be set to win, depends on the casino budget. Uh, can, you know, there's up to three machines in the casino that have been set that way. Um, it, if it has a good budget, then like at Soaring Eagle, they'll do the end of row on every row uh, uh, being the best one. That's because they're high, more highly visible. But some Casinos have smaller budgets, and those budgets can change. So she's trying to find the best machine to play. Now, if all those machines have are networked to have the same major, and she's going after the major, do you see what she's doing here? She's going after the major on the best machine so that even if she doesn't get the major, she can pay for trying to get the major by playing the machine that has the best odds. They're all identical on the outside, but inside, one of them is set with better odds. Not better odds to win the major, better odds to win a line hit. So she's combining strategies. I, I hope, this is what we talk about in Slots Labs, and I, this may be going over your head, I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> take Slots Labs, uh, and we'll talk about this and other things. You play those five, let's say it's five machines, a bank of machines, minimum bets, five spin methods. It's really obvious which one has better odds. Play that one. If none of them are, find some other bank of machines and figure out which one has the better odds. Okay, so then you're playing that one machine and you're like, this is the one with best odds. Maybe I'll cycle my bank rolls. You know, it never drops. It just sort of like you make a bet, you win, you make a bet, you win um, enough so that you don't ever lose your money. That way she sort of has this combined strategy approach, two at once. And then she goes after the major because majors uh, are cheaper than grands uh, and they're hit more often. And when you make a bet, more of your bet is applied to the major. Usually more is applied to the major than it is to the grand. You, I, I, I have casino data. This is available to anybody who's interested. Um, uh, not that I'm sharing it too much anymore. Uh, uh, because I'm I'm using this to to explain to people, I have casino data. Uh, uh, the website that of the casino that offers this only shows the last four or five weeks. You one day you come in today, you see it, and the uh, a day about a month ago dropped off, and so it just moves forward only the last four or five weeks. But I and 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 Texas Tootsie helped me with this one of my moderators, uh, I've collected it since May, uh, a year, a year's worth of data. Huh? Right? There you go. Uh, and uh, that data has shown, uh, when you look at the progressives for a particular machine, uh, the, when, I, when I was at that casino, I visited that casino, um, uh, and I saw a grand on a large row of machines that was at $1,088,000, roughly, and it was climbing slowly. And I looked at a year's worth of this hand pay data for that machine, because it has a time date, machine ID, location in the casino, name of the machine, denomination, and how much was won. <laughs> which is just crazy. You know, people say, oh, there's no data like this. I'm sorry, there is. More than one casino has something like this. Anyway, uh, I looked for that machine, and it, in a year, no one had won the grand. 
you know, and on grands which are not up in the millions, uh, of something around thirty or forty thousand dollars, it can be like three months, one hundred and thirty days, four months. Uh, that can be how long it takes between wins because I have the data. Uh, now the major, it might be on a really popular machine like dancing drums or something. It might be like hours. It might be hours. Uh, 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 or on less popular ones, it could be, you know, a couple of days and that's more likely to win. So all this went into Margaret's question, which she wrote so well to get it in under 200 characters. I'm looking at you, Steve. <laughs> You don't do that anymore, I know. Uh, and uh, yeah, so um, yeah, uh, uh, so it's a two-step process. Uh, Magpie uh, find which machine is of the highly visible bank uh, of networked progressives, uh, uh, which one has the better odds for line hits, and then play that one uh, to go after the major. And we've talked about uh, in Slots Labs uh, what you're trying to do with majors. Uh, and that's just blowing my mind. Uh, one of the things uh, that I want to do in the next Slots Labs, because I'm looking to fill some blank, uh, some holes and other things, is uh, there are some machines like uh, uh, dancing drums where the mini and the minor are progressive. Many of these other machines have minis and minors, which are just like set at $50 or $100. They don't move. But on dancing drums, it's moving. So what is its, uh, um, uh, how, uh, what is its, um, <clears throat> Uh, 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 maximum uh, uh, hit by. So if people are wondering what's going on here. Let me uh, share for you. Uh, if you go to Professor Slots and you go at the very top, can you see that? Maybe not. Um, you go to the very top here and I'll put your question away. Uh, and there's right here, I've changed some of the wording so you know a little better description. Uh, oh, it's not, it's not showing. Darn it, why is it not showing? I'm going to uh, do this again, share my screen uh, and entire screen. There we go. That's better. Now you can see my mouse. See my mouse? So you go to courses, sign in. This is where you see my courses. And if you go under Slots Labs, which the next one will be starting in um, uh, June 4th, uh, sign up now before it fills. Uh, this is, uh, so it's pre-order right now. I'm doing this because uh, when you start Slots Labs, the first section will become available. It starts in uh, 20 days, so you have a little bit of time, but not much. If it fills up, it fills up. You can go here and look at the six weeks of course curriculum for the entire course. And this is, uh, I'll be making some small changes here, but this is what the welcome section looks like. This is what the uh, foundation section looks like. Uh, and these are the progressive uh, machines that I chose the last time this uh, course was offered. I'm considering um, adding some uh, and also making some changes like with dancing drums here. Uh, what is the mini or minor? Uh, what is that progressive and how might you win that every couple of hours? Uh, or minutes, really. Uh, and uh, so that's something to, if you win a little often, uh, it can be more than waiting a year to win a grant. Yeah. Uh, and so you can take a look at uh, the whole course, uh, what's being discussed. Uh, it, it doesn't, of course, have the lessons, but what's the topics covered. Uh, and uh, then there's also a show more with uh, um, all the, the the future and what's going on, uh, and also alumni community and uh, cheat sheets and stuff like that. So uh, feel free to go to um, professorslots.com, courses, sign in, 
uh, and check out uh, Slots Labs, which you will, for which you will get 30 days to play Slots Smarter and win for free, as well as seven gambling record secrets for free. Uh, so, uh, and what the heck, use your winnings. Watch my free content, learn how to win, and then buy my course to do better. Uh, someone was saying they won $7,000 recently. So it's working. Invest in yourself. Uh, okay. Uh, so coming back to here. Um, uh, Patty, I had seen you on like Snapchat and I'm like, is this somebody that's, uh, uh, knows Chuck? Uh, so hi Patty. Uh, it's great to meet you. Um, and, uh, Chuck says hi to, uh, <laughs> Serenities says, I can see a cattail hanging behind you. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, there we go up there right right there right there <laughs> uh, no it's a, it's a little hard to get up there uh, yep uh that is eddie she was lying on the keyboard in front of me <laughs> uh yes well spotted absolutely steve's question I noticed a lot of people on bonus rapid fire the machine to get it over with quickly. I think this is being done because the casino central server is paying on that time uh, schedule for advantage. Uh, I, right? That's what I do. I mean, I go in, I find a machine that's winning, and I'm like, hey, it's going to be over in uh, on the half hour on the hour, the next, on the hour, the next half, uh, on the half hour, I got to get as many wins in as possible because I've found a winning machine. Now, you won't hear that on any other ch slots channel because they deny it's possible. Uh, and then on, and 30 seconds later, they say it is. <laughs> Don't ask me. It's just like tell you what to tell you what you want to hear, not what helps. Uh, and you know, they can do what they want. Uh, I think people will catch on eventually. Uh, goodness knows that. Um, uh, yeah, the, the goodness knows that. Uh, there's a lot of stuff out there on the internet. As one of my moderators uh, and and good good friend, they're all good friends. Uh, but one is one of my moderators said says to me, "Is you have heard of the internet, right?" I'm like, "Oh, that's right." Um, yeah, uh, right. Uh, so people are rapid fire betting as quickly as possible um, because they may not have thought it out but the instinct and instincts very important I, I approve of instinct instinct is very important and they're like well i'm just going to go for it and going for it has been good um it, it can only take you so far though because sometimes it's like well i'm just going to keep going even after i start losing so you know they run into those problems um yeah uh, might take a trip to Nevada. Would you recommend Reno or Vegas? Uh, right. So if you go to Professor Slots, doom, 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 add to stream, I'll make myself small. Uh, and if you, and I'll make your question. So the question from Frenzy is, might take a trip to Nevada. Would you recommend Reno or Vegas? Uh, one of my most recent articles is... Uh, where are you? Uh, Nevada. Right. So it's it's through March. I think there might be one. April might have come out by now, maybe. Uh, but if you go to, there's about, I think it's, it's over two dozen. I think it's 24, 25 districts um, that Nevada posts the returns for. I've done six here. And I just chose them at random. Well, not ex exactly at random. Of course, I wanted to have downtown. And of course, I wanted to have the strip. But I was like, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do four others uh, that aren't. I thought downtown would be across the top and Las Vegas Strip would be across the bottom. And because that's 
what it once was when I looked at it a couple of years ago. And now downtown and Las Vegas Strip, well, downtown's a little, a little, a little better. But there's like daylight between Reno, Sparks, Wendover, and uh, compared to downtown. So this is uh, Reno, Sparks, Wendover, and this is downtown and the Strip, as well as jackpot area. Now, I this would be very confusing if I had like 24 different districts, but it is something that I have to sort of like sort through and provide because. This is a choice. This is a choice. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's good to know what the choices are. And this is a choice that was made for three years or more. Uh, one of the things I want to do is go back 20 years and say, see how long this has been going on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and back to questions. Reno has a better baseline. Yeah. Uh, Dana says the facts you put up front, such as check of the casino you walk into, pay or not, are very simple. Uh, that is what makes it so difficult for people to accept. Teach them, teach them what business is, uh, if they want to. Uh, slots play is very emotional. Um, I enjoy a good emotional roller coaster at the casino um, and uh, being able to communicate with uh, people who go to the, the casino for that reason. Um, there's a lot of new people all the time. I'm, I, I could show you my statistics on uh, that. I, I get first time viewers and they're like three times as many as return visitors because return visitors are great. Uh, they keep coming back, but the, there's a lot of people like, are like, I'm, I, younger people maybe, or, or just the way things are going on society. I'm going to go do something. I'm going to check and see if there's a video on how to do it well. It's like common. And so many people I talk to who become customers or, or go in my classes and, and come, come to my community. They're all just like, okay, you know. I go check first. Uh, and so more and more people are doing that, but uh, it's a slow climb. And one of the things that people say about me, <clears throat> I had a um, a student, a fan uh, who started a channel. He, you know him, he's very popular. Uh, uh, he evokes emotion in people and he tells them what they want to hear. Uh, and uh, the emotion that he's provoking is hate unfortunately. But, you know, that's politics. Uh, hate sells. Uh, makes money. Um, people tell me if, I'm not very emotional. You know, and I'm like, I'm not very emotional. Uh, and, and they say, well, you don't get red in the face and scream. I'm like, do you think that would get me better views? <laughs> Probably. Oh, okay. Good to know. Not going to be doing it. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I've seen that, that uh, former student. Uh, he asked me to be his co-host uh, before he got his uh, uh, current co-host. That was about a year ago. Uh, and I was like, maybe. Uh, and then he told me more about it. And I'm like, no, uh, I, I pass. And he got really upset. Uh, um, yeah, uh, it's threatening have the text messages. It's just like, wow. Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, right. Uh, I do want to teach people to kind of look around. Uh, but if they don't want to, then they, they won't. Yeah. But more and more people are doing that. Uh, understand the, the casino is the same as a supermarket. <laughs> uh, I, I, I think as, uh, it, Yes, uh, uh, although I do like the analogy of a uh, theme park where, you know, you go with your family and you spend money and it's not like you make money. Uh, and that's what that's how people treat it. But if you um, 
you know, there's a different way to look at it where it's a business and some people have to win occasionally. People uh, have this wrong idea that when you go to a casino, they say, well, the casino just takes all your money. And I'm like, they, they don't. And they don't. Well, sometimes they do, but they can't do it for very long. Otherwise, nobody would come back. And that's how businesses work. You got to keep the customer happy or, or actually, if you can make them think that it's their fault, uh, you know, I just couldn't keep it in my pocket. Huh? You know, and if they can blame you and you accept that blame, then they t- can take your money. And it's just, just like mind blowing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, make five bets. If you win anything, stop, move to the next machine and collect that taste and the next and the next and the next. That's why that, that, that was popular. That was, that was very popular. Uh, millions of views. Uh, Henry. Hi, Henry. Good to see you. Uh, when doing the five spin on a bank of, uh, to assess them, do you stop after you get a line hit or do you uh, do all five spins and move on to the next? I stop after I get a line hit. Um, but if you do like the bank of machines and you only got uh, one line hit on one of the machines, that's the one you want to check out. And after you do minimum bets with the five spin method, um, you can then continue to play. But I suggest using my tough love approach, which is make 10 bets. Uh, and if you don't win anything all, at all, stop. Uh, but if you do, then you go to 20 bets and then look at what happened for those 20 bets. And if you are uh, making money, not if... You think you might eventually make money. No, if you are making money, stay. Tough love. Uh, And stay for another 30 bets till you get to 50 total bets. Make the same tough tough love decision and then go to 100 bets. And after that, after 100 bets, when you make the tough love decision again, then you're on your own because it could be checking to see if it gets to the half hour and then be very careful at the half hour at the hour because these central servers um, are programmed by humans and humans like, you know, they don't say two thirty eight. They say two thirty. They don't say three fifty four. They say four o'clock and that's when they set the changes. Um, uh, Texas Tootsie says, I just checked the bus schedule for NASCA. Is it the bus get, is it the bus of the casino? Um, that's part of it. Uh, if it isn't the casino's bus, then they probably are aware of the public bus system, but it's a little lower. Um, and really, uh, what, as with everything that I talk about, see if your casino does it. It's really about learning your casino. I wish it was the same everywhere like it is with craps and uh, each particular game of poker or roulette or blackjack, um, even though you can do card counting for that, but not very well lately because of all the many, many infinite decks. But if you go to that casino and you walk in and you see that everybody's winning when the bus arrives, then you know what to do. Play. But if you go in and nobody's winning, despite the crowds, don't. But half an hour later, an hour later, two hours later, suddenly everything picks up. And it wasn't like another bus arrived. The casino realized that you are uh, getting upset. They don't want you to leave, so they let a few people people win. Now, you talked about NASCAR. That's that's for everybody else. For you, uh, uh, Texas Tootsie, you're talking about NASCAR. NASCAR has uh, uh, bingo machines, and uh, and there are very few and far between techniques that work on bingo machines. You can do the five-spin method, but that works only because it has a built-in loss limit technique. It's awesome loss limit technique. And so you can use that to win. But you're talking uh, bingo machines and bingo machines. Uh, we talked about it uh, last night, bingo machines and how to win on those. Uh, you know, Slots IQ, I, I know you're not a member anymore, but we went over that, what what we know and what we don't know. 
uh, and uh, really, it's it's kind of like you know, there's not much that you can be can do. Uh, bingo uh, games are a federal law, not a state law. I mean, they, they need to have a, a state compact, but the rules for uh, slots are based on um, uh, 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 what is it? The Indian Gaming Regulatory Act of 1988, signed, signed by President Reagan. Good luck with Nascola class two games. I wish there was a casino like that near me so I could pluck away at it. Um, it's like the state of Nevada, or excuse me, the state of uh, Washington. Uh, there is a way to win on those machines, but they are unique uh, in the country. They're seriously, you know, they're not, you don't think they're, you know, it's not that opinion that they're unique. They are in fact unique because they're based on a, a, a lottery terminal in the casino, it's run by the state lottery, um, but not the same state lottery system as like Ohio or Michigan or the other states that have state lotteries, Illinois, uh, that, that run them in Washington. Uh, those other state lotteries are based on draw lottery tickets and the state of Washington is first, uh, based on scratch ticket lottery system. Uh, no, there is no, you know, quarter scratching the screen um, uh, in Washington. It's all virtual scratch tickets, but it's basically a spools and sub spools. And there is a way to win there, but don't use it in, in, in Nevada or any other state. Um, and there is some things you can learn about class two machines, but it's a lot of work uh, and it's only for class two bingo machines. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, uh, Patty, congratulations. Uh, recently at Gilpin Casino, I believe in Missouri, right? Did a five spin method on a great C location and got a hand pay of $1,700. Yeah, <laughs> sweet. Uh, 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 her brother says sweet. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, Chuck's, uh, Chuck says, uh, just check my notes. Gilpin has uh, good hot chocolate. Nice, nice. Uh, que question from uh, Red. Uh, you say, I say casinos. Uh, gaming regulations say casinos change odds uh, through a central server anytime they want. Doesn't a rep from the casino commission need to be present with the machine brain uh, is unsealed and changed? Um, right. So, uh, no. Uh, what you're thinking of is access to the random number generator. What you're thinking of is access to the game theme located there. And this is where uh, a table game expert came out with a video that's had uh, that's 10 million views, uh, which is a lot in the gaming uh, niche. Uh, they, they came out uh, as a table game expert. They wanted to do a slots video. And uh, so they got that wrong. They said, well, this is what's protected, and you have to have a gaming commission rep there. So you, you basically, one thing that you're doing is, um, you know, you're, you're living in 1990. Uh, uh, central servers came out in uh, 2009 as an experimental project. You can find an article in New York Times uh, which is on my website, uh, which is on my Facebook groups. And you can read about uh, what it does. Uh, and um, that became a product that was accepted by all the casinos starting about 2012 and only took like a 18 months, a year and a half for all casinos that could have it, would have it. Um, so, but, you know, living in 1990 is, I, I lived through the 1990s. It's, not as fond as I as as people seem to be talking about now. I'm like, really, you know, it wasn't that great. Um, yeah. So, no. You uh, uh, what you need to protect uh, in the slot machine is the game theme because if somebody switches out how the game is played, uh, the code for the game, then that changes the game, and you can set it to win. It's hard. It's not easy. Uh, but if you have a flash drive, you can insert it. So that needs to be sealed and protected and cannot be accessed. Um, but 
the game has an input. Uh, where was it? New Hampshire? Was it New Hampshire? I'm trying to think where I, um, let's see, Arkansas, maybe? I'm gonna see if I can show you where in the gaming regs it says you can do this. Uh, I, I recognize that you're no longer listening. Um, yeah. Uh, so if you go to Arkansas, and I'll make it big for you. Uh, and um, so professorslots.com slash A, was it AR? No, AK? No, AR. I think it's AR. Always had trouble that with, it, with that one as a kid, right? AR. Uh, and you go all the way to the bottom, and you will see that it says how this works. So if you go to the gaming rigs, uh, uh, section 24-24.35, uh, randomness requirements on page 87 of the Arkansas uh, uh, PDF, it clearly states when the authorized game or system uses a random number generator to make selections, such an RNG and the selection shall be conformed to the desired random distribution. So the desired random distribution is the choice of the casino. Let me make it so it's a little more visible. Um, yeah, just go to arkansas.gov uh, PDF, uh, go down to page 87. Uh, let's try to do this quickly. Uh, 87, 87. Yeah, there's, and it just tells you, I mean, you, you need to take a stats course to understand what desired random distribution means. Uh, 87, 87, where is it? There it is. 87. Um, yeah, this is Arkansas.gov. We go your way out of that one. Um, Conform to the desired random distribution. Desired by the casino. Multiple random distributions provided by the slot machine manufacturer. Changed with the central server at any time. It's not part of what's protected. The protection comes from saying, well, it never needs, it can't be below this, it can't be above that. Sometimes it doesn't have either of those or it just has the minimum. Or our, Oregon has only the the upper limit. And, you know, just understand how these things work. Uh, helps being an electrical engineer or a, a, a computer engineer, um, but you don't need that. Uh, yeah. I don't want to give you airtime, but, um, you know, a lot of bad information out there. Has been since, I mean, I think of the damage that was done when I think of the damage that was done by that table game expert telling people stuff. Um, so many people think what you think because of a video of a uh, YouTube video that came out in 2009. Even though 2006 had New York Times article that was talking about how that was just not true. Yeah, sad. Hi, Brian. Uh, I don't see a question, but uh, I, I guess let me let me put this back. Okay. Uh, on casinos where the five spin or only win immediately doesn't work, what do you recommend? I recommend using it anyway. This is what we talk about in Slots Labs is it's an assessment tool. There's so many things that are useful about the five spin method, even when it doesn't work. You can figure out which ones have the bet. It's minimum bets, five spin method, 20 machines, learn your casino. Then, as I'm doing in Reno, because I only moved here a few months ago, there's so many casinos. As I learn the casino, as I play these 20 machines, I now know which ones are more likely to be set as winners. I mean, I start by walking around. This is the the you know, multiple methods put together that I talk about in Slots Labs, I choose machines which are highly visible. I don't know which of those machines are set to win, but they're not going to put one in the dark back corner 
to have high odds. They want people to see the win. That's so important. Uh, so I just pick highly visible machines and I try to figure out if it's going to be every highly visible machine or if it's going to be three in the casino. Like I, I found three, two of them in the main floor in the MGM Grand Detroit and one of them in the high limit room, uh, twin win, uh, you know, see for yourself. Uh, and uh, there's an article on that. And so I would use it to assess the casino. You're, you're assessing the casino, you're assessing a bunch of different slot machines. The video I showed in the pre-show was 50 machines, uncut video. There's parts where I heard it along as I was walking, but it's uncut, uh, 50 machines, Chuck Todd Durant, uh, and uh, I, I walked away from a bingo machine, which I was like, whoop. Uh, but uh, that is uncut video uh, showing, you know, you now know it Chuck Todd uh, Durant, at least in one section of it, um, which of those 50 machines sometimes has wins. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and he says also, I, I have encountered some casinos in Vegas that only seem to pay out on, uh, longer, uh, plays. Um, I talk about in my explanation for this, um, I choose highly visible machines and I don't get to five spins. I get to one, two. Uh, but I have fans who are like, well, I like to do eight spins. And I'm like, why is it even going that long? Ugh. You know, choose highly visible machines. Yeah. Uh, sure. If it's, um, if you play longer, you uh, can still lose. I mean, people play longer to say, well, it's got to hit at some point. Actually, no. According to the game regulations, it doesn't. You can play forever and you never make anything. So going longer, I I like to win immediately. There's plenty of machines to go around. Find the ones where you don't have to wait for it. Right? <laughs> Um, uh, I forgot to ask you to like this video. Um, uh, I will, uh, uh, more the merrier. We're trying to uh, take advantage of the, um, uh, Colorado. Okay. Uh, 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 hi, son Barker. Um, uh, uh, Patty says, uh, Colorado, uh, and magpie 11 says yard work is calling. Enjoy the weekend. Yes, you too. Oh, gee, I'm, I've, I've gone long here. Uh, I can only talk for about two hours and it's coming up on it. Um, uh, so, okay. Uh, and Buffalo grand was the machine and, and, um, uh, I think I answered that. Okay. Uh, good to see everybody. Um, that's it. Uh, when you, what a great live stream. I'll see you next Thursday uh, at uh, noon Eastern, or next Saturday at noon Eastern. Sorry, Saturday, Saturday. Uh, in the meantime, I highly recommend you watch this video on how to know if your slot machine is hot or cold. And please have a happy 